are you too? This is William. Uh, welcome to another video. This is a, a video I'm going to lead you through the, the steps. It's going to be kind of a, a show and, and not tell. <laughs> I think a picture, if a picture is worth a thousand words, then a video is maybe worth a million. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, I made a Kydex sheath for my little um, Smith & Wesson MMP shield. It's 9mm. And uh, some time ago, and uh, a friend of mine wanted to try it out, and he tried it out, and he loved it, so I let him have it. Um, so I said, well, I'd make me another one. And that was several months ago. <laughs> so I decided, I've been wearing uh, this one as a, as a concealed carry, which it does a good job, it just rides a little high. But I wanted, I wanted to make one with Kydex, it had a little bit more rigidity, and uh, also um, with a little bit of, of leather that, and it rides higher so that it doesn't, um, or I'm sorry, lower, so it doesn't poke me as much. Um, so anyway, what I've done is I've taken some harness leather. This is a uh, quarter inch leather. It's very stiff leather. And I used the flesh side to the back. So. I thought that that would be less irritating to, to your skin. Um, and um, also, I, I made the, the belt slots a little bit larger so I could wear it with my pistol belt when hunting uh, during bow season and things like that. Because where I hunt, uh, the only thing that really concerns me is wild, wild pigs, wild hogs. Uh, when I say pigs, some of them get to be three, four hundred pounds. I mean, there there's some big boars out there. So, and they're just completely un, unpredictable. You never know what those things are gonna do. So, anyway, that's, uh, that's why I like to have a pistol with me or some type of firearm um, out there, um, just for that. But uh, anyway, uh, this is uh, what I've, I've done and this is how I did it. But before I say, uh, before I, I, I start the video of how I did it, uh, please keep in mind this is my weapon this is how I treat my weapon and um, if you don't like it I'm sorry but it's mine I can do whatever I want to with it I can get it wet I can put it in the kydex I can scratch it up a little bit if I want to so if you want to uh, to do one like I did then you, you may want to wrap it with saran wrap or something like that if you want to protect it but hey me I mean those are just war marks. Um, I'm not too concerned about it. The weapon still fires, and, and it's an awesome, awesome, awesome concealed carry weapon or daily carry weapon, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, just kind of show you how it, it wears. Uh, I did uh, get a little bit thin here. If, it, if I ever do another one, I'm going to, uh, to get... Uh, Use a little bit uh, wider leather next time, but uh, hopefully that will last a while. Because it's quarter inch wax impregnated leather, so it should it should be fine for for a while anyway. I don't think it's going to be tearing anytime soon. And that's how it wears. And at the end of the video, you'll see me um, sit down in the chair and just kind of see how it's going to ride and how it's going to feel and, and everything. But I think that um, that is going to be a great little concealed carry uh, sheath. So, I mean, it uh, doesn't poke by them or anything. It just rides happily there. And uh, if you want to, you just slide it on around to the side get a little bit more comfortable when you're sitting down maybe but uh, anyway it's right there it's got good retention it's um, I think it's going to be a, a great little uh, holster for me here we guys here's how I did it
if you, I'm sure they want to get questions, but the knife that I use, and this is the knife that I use daily for the past two months. Um, this is a firebug that I actually put some just brown micarta scales on, and you can see my logo in there and the little bow deal divot and all that. Um, I love this knife. It's, it's got the distal taper to where it's thin enough to cut leather. It has some meat on it, so if you want to get in there and, and do some heavy duty carving or, or actually you got enough of blade thickness there to split uh, wood for kindling and things like that, it's a fantastic little design. I'm surprised that not more, more people has um, caught on to that design, but it's, it's, it's really my favorite everyday carry knife around the shop, bar none. I'd rather have this one than anything else that I've used. So, uh, just so you know, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people ask the question, so kind of head that off. After wearing the uh, the pistol holster for uh, most of the day yesterday, after I made it, um, had to, to do some modifications to it. The little leather down, I slimlined the, the Kydex uh, a lot. And I put these belt loops uh, that actually they're designed to go over uh, for inside the waist band, but um, I'm hoping that they're going to work. I can actually put them on the outside and use this as the inside of the waistband uh, carry as well. But um, I've been using it for the for the most part on the outside, like so and just hook it over the belt and it seems to be doing okay now I don't I guess time will tell as to how how well these clips hold up like so now time will tell how well these clips hold up because you see you got, you got a little flop there it's actually comfortable but um, I don't know how well these clips are going to hold up. So probably inside the waistband is probably a better way to carry this. Stop up the holster. I think the, these uh, clips would hold up better. And uh, now the, the original Kydex sheet that I made uh, some time back, uh, probably about a year ago now, um, it was uh, a little bit different than this and I may make another one like that because it it did carry very well <clears throat> I was very impressed with it it's the reason my friend wanted it because it, it, it um, outside the waistband it was a fantastic little sheath and I, and I may do another one of those because like I said it did carry well now inside the waistband this is this is going to be a, probably a very good option so uh, We'll just see how how that works. It uh, that leather seems to be smooth enough that it uh, it doesn't doesn't rub. We'll try that and, and uh, see how that works. Okay. All right, this is the um, the other style that, that I used and, and wore for such a long time. I did add uh, a softer, I think this is lambskin that I had on the back so that I could wear it um, without a t-shirt. I wanted something soft against my skin. 
So I think that that's going to be a, a tremendous improvement um, because the other one, um, it was just so rough against, it would just it would rub and cause blisters if you didn't have an undershirt on. So with this one, I think that I can, I can get away with not, uh, not having to do that. I just need to, to wear it for a while. Um, this one here um, is a great inside the waistband, as you saw in the video, and I'll keep that one. And then this one will be an outside the waistband uh, sheath. Um, so both of them are, are fantastic sheaths. Um, I didn't show a whole lot of making this one. It's the same process as the other one. So um, anyway, uh, just I hope I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got some tips and tricks and and everything and, and make your own. Uh, that's the fun part about using gear that you make. It's just it's just something about um, making your own gear. It's just really self-rewarding. So try it. Um, you don't have to be as elaborate. You don't have to have all the, the buffing machines and sanding machines and all this other stuff that I have. But uh, you can make do with just the Harbor Freight $30 belt sander. Um, get you some, some foam and, and use the oven at your, in your home. Uh, there's plenty of presses that you can make on your own for Kydex. Um, all you have to do is just buy the phone and it's pretty cheap. Just Google uh, Kydex uh, phone and I'm sure Amazon has it. Amazon has everything else. And they just go on YouTube and, and there's a lot of how-to videos on how to, uh, to make your own press. So, I mean, it's very simple stuff. It's, it's, not, it's not really complicated. All you got to do is just dive in. Okay, just just do dive in. I mean, Kydex is reasonable cheap if you get if you just get the black. And um, holstersmith.com is a great place to start. That's where I get all of my Kydex from. He has a he has very good pricing and uh, good customer service. So anyway, until the next one, you guys you guys try this stuff. Experiment. Expand your horizons. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you do, be sure and take plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. We'll catch you again soon.